It really all begins with Martin the Warrior, first great defender of Redwall Abbey. The pirate Badran was the scourge of the Marshank coast. Attack! I'll be gone a while, my son. I want to come. I can help you fight the sea rats. Are you sad, father? Now you will listen to me, young Martin. I'm leaving you this. To remember me by. Sometime, son, we have to do things we'd rather not do, but must. One day, you'll understand. Grandmother, when will he be back? When the seas are safe again, Martin. Defend the weak, never fight in anger, and never let another creature take my sword from you. Gotcha. Here you are. I've been half out of my mind looking for you. I was only... You're over a mile from home. <laughs> More slaves. Run, Martin. Run, grandson. Oh, oh. You touch my grandmother and, and I'll, I'll hit you. <laughs> Give that here. You'll hurt yourself. <laughs> I promised my father not to give a sword to any creep. Oh, did you now? This old lump, I strip your eye, you worthless layabout. Hey, what are you doing? Get him. You again, still trouble, eh? I should run you through and be done with you. Scum! Scum? Scum and a thief! Ah. That sword is not yours. It belongs to me! Well, you're not short on nerve, Mouse. What's your name? My name is... Ugh. My name is Martin, son of Luke the Warrior! Warrior. <laughs> well, Martin, son of Luke the Warrior, you can become Martin, the Seagull's Breakfast. <laughs> Is in there? Well, the rat tracks lead here, so where else will he be? Here, eat up now. Grum Trencher, you're worse than an old mouse wife. Well, that keeps you warm anyway. Hmm. If only Brome hadn't wandered off from Noonvale. Well, wonder he did, and if that bad has got him, he'll be wishing he'd listened to his father. Father meant no harm. He just wanted Brome to be responsible. Uh, well, young and responsible aren't words as go together, do they? Saving yourself, of course, Mistress Rose. <laughs> oh, Grum. Oh. <laughs> Bad 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 Grum, come here quickly. Listen. Martin, son of Luke! Martin! Who are 
Rose, daughter of Chief Uranvo of Noonvale. Why are you here? I seek my brother, Rome! Do you know him? No. Been fallen unconscious if you ask I, poor creature. Martin, can we help you? Girls, we'll attack! Dawn! Not if Rose of Noonvale has anything to say about it. Find me pebbles from. I'll show that cruel, heartless badrang. <laughs> I bet he be only half as ill tempered as thee, Missy. And he'll feel it if he hurts that poor Martin. Or my brother. <laughs> No more. <laughs> 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 cry of a great eagle. Grind! There ain't no great eagles on this coast. Look! Roman cuttlefish log. Me old shipmate. And me mortal enemy. Pick your feet up, you little little slime. Look! They're cutting Martin down. I do think Usson's won, Missy Rose. Thank the seasons we could help that poor mouse. Oh, he gave him Billy O in the old ladler. Ho ho! If I know is my old mate the Batran, he'll have slaves a plenty to build that place. Yes, Captain. They ain't try for corsairs and sea rats to row their own ship now, is it? Oh. No, Captain. So, will you slip ashore and ask him, handsome like, to fit us out with a few robists? Right, right Captain. Captain. And if you won't, I'll use Slitty's gizzard, use his skull as my figurehead, and take him anyway! Hearken, young mouse. You're not short on nerve, and, uh, now I could use a tough fighter like you. But things being as they are, How'd you like to be a captain in my horde? Best food, best slaves. What do you say, young'un? Will you swear loyalty to me against old clog? You wish the gold's got to you, Will! Chuck him in the pit! Just stand there. We got pirates to deal with. Oh. Well, you're still alive, Martin. I'm Feldo. You saved my father, Bark John. What are you doing down here? Stiffia saw me throwing rocks at him on the wall. Well, thanks for helping. I thought I was bird meat for a while. This young fellow's Brome. Brome? Hello. Your sister's outside with somebody called Grum. Rose and Grum? Outside? Yes. They'll soon get us away from Bad Rain. Uh, you'll see. Simple as picking daisies. Uh. Hmm. When was the last time you picked daisies, matey? A long time ago. Anyone home to receive a poor old sea dog who's down on his luck? Well, burn me bilges! Captain Trom and Clog! How are ye, ye old wave dog? Badrang, me old messmate! It's good for these old eyes to see you again. Just like the old days. Dear old days. Ah, uh, yes. That 
would be when you left me stranded on a reef and sailed off with me slaves. More the other way around, as I recall. My vessel was wrecked and the slaves lost. Then poor old abandoned me ended up at this place. Aye, and look at you now. Lord Badrang, if you please, with a fine fortress and a parcel of slaves, half of which is mine. I want what's due to me, Badrang. I come for my share. Your share is nothing, Clog, and that's what you'll get. You don't get it, old mate. We ain't here to beg. He's here to trace! Yeah. Make a move and your captain's a dead one! His blade is poison, like the tips of my archer's arrows! Hold your rush lights! Put those carvers up! <laughs> Never thought you'd use a dirty trick like poisoned weapons. But you win, matey. Put up your blade, and we'll go peaceful like. I thought you would. Yeah. I'm going, Padre. But don't rest easy, matey. One dark night, I'll slit your gullet, take your slaves, and burn Marshak to the ground. And that's a promise! Get going before I use you for target practice! Pay down there! Are you talking to the prisoners? I'll lay me spear handle across your back if you is! Not me, sire. It's these poor wretches in the pit. They say they've got the fever. The flurgy twinge! Oh, the flurgy twinge? I knew it. Your head was shivering like a leaf last night. And this morning he was staying in his bunk because of the pains in his head. Pa! There ain't no fever in this fortress, mate. That's exactly what I said, sire. But these three are convinced they've got the fever. We should know soon enough. How's that? Well, sire, if they do have the flurgy twinge, they'll start calling out for help in voices that can be heard for miles! Good idea, Caleb. Who's got the loudest voice? How's this? <gasps> That's my little brother, all right. I'd know those lungs anywhere. <laughs> Why don't you let him know we can hear him? <whistles> oh, my, what a family for noising in. That's my sister Rose, all right. She can screech as good as any eagle. Good work, young'un. Now, get ready to send her the message. Who's a getting this, Missy? We need the claws of a good old chum. I know that you can do it, Grum. Twenty paces to the south of the gate, three and a bit mice down. Can you do it, Grum? Oh, ho. it would be easier than eating your mama's apple puddings. If you rescue Brome and get us home to Noonvale, Grum, I'll see that my mama fills her summer kitchen with more apple puddings than you can shake a stick at. <sighs> you wouldn't be teasing me, Missy. Go on, Grum. Get him! Sire! He's clogging his courses! They're attacking! Of course they are, Rattlebrain. I wouldn't have expected anything less. <laughs> Archers! <laughs> Slash those ropes! <laughs> More stones! <laughs> well, up there, any beast. What's happening? The fortress is under attack. It's clogging his full sands. We're going to die down here! Whoa. We are not going to die down here! Huh? Old Grum 
wouldn't be agreeing with you. Grum? Grum! Grum! Oh, bro! <laughs> Is Grum with you? He's right. Behind. I am Rose of Noonvale. You must be Martin. Martin? The beast whose head you are standing on is our rescuer. <laughs> uh, it'd be good and noisy out here, with a vermin killing each other or yonder. Thank you, Grant. You are indeed a champion digger. Oh, thank you, sirs, but we're in my hurry along now. I'm staying. My father, Bark John, is still inside Marshank. I can't leave till he is free. Timing is everything, friend. It will do your father no good to see you captured or killed. One day soon, we'll return to free all of the slaves of Marshank, and I will reclaim from Badrang my father's sword. Are you with me? I'm with you. And I add the pledge of assistance of the chieftain of Noonvale, my father, Urembo. Me too. I'm witches. We'll do it, friends. Together. Make for those long boats, friends. <laughs> Zelda, they're right behind you. <laughs> Grum? What is it? I be sitting right on a great hole in the bottom of a boat. Of course. That's what Badrang's creatures were doing. Let's hope it's a much smaller hole than the one that sunk the corsairs. Smell of a battle one gladdens me, black heart. <laughs> but I'd wager a passel of slaves that me old friend Clog's got more tricks up his sleeve, eh, mate? Whoa! <clears throat> Good news. I managed to check the prison pit. It's empty. <gasps> my son Feldo is free. They've all escaped. Ah, oh, Kayla. My son is a free creature. He'll bring help to us someday, you'll see. Any sign of land? Saved my life. My poor brother! We've completely lost him! And Feldo! They're probably doing the same as us, swimming east towards the sunrise. 
And sooner or later, land. We did it! We made it! And we're free! Where are we going? To Noonvale. Noonvale! I'll bet an acorn to an eggshell that's where Rose and Martin are headed. Hush, broom. <laughs> what, may I ask, are you two doing loitering around our camp? We're not thieves. We're lost at sea. Well, land now. Pleased to meet ya. We, sirs, are the rambling rosehip players. Now, who, by Jove, are you? I am Feldo, and this is Brome. We were washed ashore after a monster fish sank our boat. We lost Brome's sister and her companions in the storm. We don't even know if they made it ashore. Thank you, Martin. We're not out of danger yet. It'll only take one big wave to wash us off of here. Yeah. Oh, past champion diggers? Pete champion climbers? I think if we climb a little further, we might find a broader ledge. Why can't I stay here? My pesky old paws be gonna sleep in on I? Gotcha! Gotcha, bigger mouse! <laughs> Not so bigger now! Stop it, you gibbering idiot! Leave me alone! <laughs> oh. Hey, where are we? And who are these wretched little creatures? Hello, friend. Palin's the name. You've been caught by pygmy shrews. Welcome. Uh. Best way to stop them is to encourage them. They'll always do the opposite to what you say. Hig hig. Goody good. You pokey more, big mouse. No! That's Dinger. The one and only son and heir to Ambala, queen of the pygmy shrews. Palum, is there any chance of us getting some food or water? I'll see what I can do. I need to think. I could get this place finished at double time. Then I'll be lord of the entire eastern coast twice as fast. <coughs> what do you want, Isk? The prisoners. Gone. Gone? What do you mean, gone? They've died or been killed? No, sire. They've escaped. Rubbish! No beast escapes my prison pit! She's coming. Get up. Queen Embala's coming. Balam, I'm see this! Silly beast make good squidgy nurses! <laughs> what squidgies? They're the squidgies. <laughs> Can you guess what a squidgy nurse is? <laughs> Ginger! A pokey pokey, bigger mouse, plenty fun! <laughs> that blag of Dinger got to? There he is. Get down from there, you senseless rogue. <gasps> Dinger got him dead! No! Dinger not dead, Balamon. No! Bigger Mouse save him. Martin, bigger mouse, he's mighty warrior. He will get your ginger back. You see, you see. Save me! Save me! 
Stretch the nets. Hold them up. I hope she don't want to jump into this. Make a bigger leap jump, Dinja. Landy's soft net net. Jump, Dinja. Jump. Jump, Dinja. Your father fell, though. Is he still a slave in that dreadful fortress? I say, Rowan, old oak, are you thinking of pulling off the old dash and thespian rescue routine? I am. Then let's stop jaw banging and get to it. What? Here, here. Hooray! Now, just hold fast a moment, friends. It's very kind of you to rescue my father. Can't do it alone, old chap. Gone to need some of your help, too, eh, what? But... You'd not last as long as a leaf in a barn fire at Marshank. It's a very nasty place. And they'd recognize us straight away. That's that problem solved. We are players. Thespians. We do this sort of thing all the time. It's a performance. Let's go to work. <laughs> you really were a hero up there. I'm serious. Not many creatures would have had the courage, especially to rescue one so annoying as Dinja. Martin Mouse, warrior mouse, save my Dinja babe. Balamom, say this. What I want. Anything you want. We want free. This! You go! All free! <laughs> Does any of this look familiar to you, Palum? I'm afraid not. The pygmy shrews blindfolded me when I was taken prisoner. We're bound to find some landmarks that lead to Noonvale. We don't know about that, Zero Missy. He's a fearing that these old eyes never be seeing our home again. That's enough, Grum. As long as we stay true to our quest, someone or something will help us. I be hoping you're right, Martin. Come on, let's get moving. Martin, maybe we should stop for the night. That's a good idea. I don't know. I'm not sure it's safe to stop. W w what do you mean? Nothing, Palin. Someone's been following us since early this morning. I haven't seen anyone. Have you, Grub? Uh, aye, Missy. He's been a hearing things. But why didn't you say something? He told me, Rose. We didn't want to frighten everyone. Really? And what makes you think I would have been frightened? It wasn't you I was worried about. Ahoy there, Grouch! Be the sea scarab hold out of the sea, eh? Aye, oh, Captain. We done it. <laughs> Tomorrow! We'll set them slaves to rebuild an her! Excellent plan. <laughs> In the meantime, I don't suppose you could spare a nip of that seaweed ale, Captain? I'm positively parched. <laughs> Who's this, then? One of Badrang's lots? I say! Look at that! <laughs> Stripe me! How do you do that, matey? What's your name, then? Tibar! Tibar! 
<laughs> what sort of name's that? Why, it's rabbit spelled backwards, me old buckadoodle. Ha! <laughs> You're a good timber. Give us a few more trips. Alas and alack, old matey friend, I must go. But we could return tomorrow and uh, put on a show. When? When? <laughs> when? Tomorrow eve in yonder fortress. Excuse me. My poor tummy's a-thinking my mouth's forgotten how to eat. Oh, but I wouldn't give for an oatmeal scone spread with honey right now. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Where in the name of apples and acorns did that come from? It's still warm. And spread it with honey, just like you asked. I'd like a scone with honey, and maybe some strawberry cordial to wash it down. You can have the scone, my dears, but I bain't throwing my good beakers about. Oh, no. Hooligan. You're the one who's been following us. I bain't be sure if you be nasty beasts, but since how you like me scones, I be thinking you're good folks. Thank you for your kindness, Pollykin. I spect you could eat more and scones, huh? and some wine drinks too. Young and all is hungry. Mm. <laughs> Come on then. Come we I. <laughs> they creatures you've been a looking for bain't past this a ways. <sighs> I hope they're safe and well, Pollykin. Oh, they'm safe enough and all right. For a moment, Missy. How do you know that? I knows lots of things, but I don't know why I knows them. I knew when we met you that you were not ordinary. Nor be ye. I seen good brave warriors in my long seasons, but none like you, Martin the Warrior. So, come next dawn, you three creatures be best traveling straight for Noon Vale. Stay away from me, Vermin Ford. Bad fortune awaits you in Marshank if you return. What sort of bad fortune, Pollykin? Well, nay, Sir Martin. Tis not for I to say. You told us to travel to Noonvale, but we're completely lost. Can you help us find our way there? Follow your front shadow. Do not stop till you reach the one with dead three top. See the twin paths. Beware of one sweet as the spreading atop a scun. Camp close by night. Watch out by day for the three-eyed one who bars the way. More you will not learn until you meet the warden of Marshwood Hill. What does it all mean, Polykin? No sign of Polykin? Hmm. She doesn't want us to go. I feel badly about leaving her, too. But we must go. Oh, poor young'uns. I'll not see some of ye again. There's much sadness afore ye. If an only you'll know. sun is hot. I wish we could travel at night when it's cooler. We need the sun to follow our front shadows, like Polykin's riddle told us. Look! A fork in the trail. Didn't one of the riddles mention something about twin paths? Yes, here. See the twin paths? Beware of one. Sweet as the spreading atop a scone. Hmm. Spreading atop a scone? Sounds like a warning. But she doesn't tell us which path is the safe one. Where's Grum? He heard water ahead and, and went into the canteen. 
sweet as the spreading atop a scone. Oh no! Honey! It's bees! I'll track Miss Rosa! Grump, sit still. Hold on, Grump. Ouch! 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 We'll get you out of there. They biting me. Ow, ow. Please hurry. Ow, ow. Oh, it's horrible. Ow. 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 Don't talk. They only sting when you speak. They must like my voice. You will find me at Noonbail on the side of a hill when the sun is peaceful and high. Streamlets meander, the valley is still. Neath the blue of a calm, cloudless sky. Thank you, Rose. You are marvelous. Hers, Miss Rosa, could be singing any birds out in the trees. <laughs> oh, nonsense. And now that we know which path is safe, we'd better hurry. The sun is getting low. A strange thing happened when you started to sing, Rose. I hardly noticed the bees. All I heard was your voice. I could listen to it forever. This is the entertainment we've been waiting for. Aye, that's me mate Dibar and his pals. Where's the best place for the fox? Locked up tight inside the box. Others may search and seek in vain, but the fox will never be seen again. Vanish! Fox disappeared? He is gone, my lord. Well, if he really is gone, I'm sure you won't mind me doing this! Pardon, you traitorous scum! The fox is unharmed. He is vanished. The box is empty! being a warrior mm. I don't know I won't be a warrior until I take my father's sword back from bad rang you're a warrior now silly <laughs> <laughs> ask any beast no good asking them they sound asleep like we should be uh, I can't sleep Rose, tell me more about where you come from. Noonvale? At dawn, the sunlight filters like golden dust through the sycamores, and the slopes are carpeted with flowers of every color. It sounds wonderful. Maybe one day... Oh... I do hope Brome and Felder are all right. Brome is young, but Felder will look after him. He's a real warrior. We're all warriors now, like it or not. I knew you'd come back! Felder! It's good to see your battered faces again, mates. But we must be quick. There may not be much time. We've been loosening the stone! Uh. Well done, friend. Son! Father! Oh, my son! <laughs> I...
I knew you wouldn't let us down. Come on, let's free everyone, old Bushtail. All right. Come quick! The slaves are escaping! <laughs> Love to stay, Clogger Old Stoat, but you know how it is. It ain't friendly like running off so soon. How's about some more magic? <laughs> <laughs> Why, certainly, me old wave walloper. How'd you like to see me vanish the whole troop? Cart and all. Ha! <sighs> Tis impossible, matey. Ladies and gentle beasts, goodbye. Huh? Stop him! It's a trick! <laughs> of course, it's a trick, old stoat. I told you it was. <laughs> I'm starving. Hmm. <laughs> mm, cool, fresh water. I see you. Beware. <laughs> oh, no, not another thing. Soup out of murdocks. Go. No beast passes the murder. Go back or die. Ah! 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 <laughs> what be it? Great big doll hanging from the trees. Huh? What? But, hmm. but how? That huh? horrible voice. And you. Go back, for I am Mirda, and I will slay you. <laughs> but who were a done all he's shouting? Oh dear. Go away, you savage beast! You great big bully Martin! Fancy doing an awful thing like that! I didn't hurt them. You're the one who destroyed their mirdop. So 
fully yourself. <laughs> we didn't mean you any harm. What do you mean by shouting threats and trying to frighten travelers on the path? Please, not so loud. There are horrible lizards in this area. They're dangerous. We were only protecting ourselves from hmm. them. Oh. I'm sorry I frightened your family. We too are peaceful creatures, and we mean you no harm. Apology accepted. We should hide before any lizards see us. Where do you think you're off to? Clean off your monkey lungs and listen. Those slaves that escaped last night is free beasts now. Thanks to you. So if any beast was to capture them, then they'd belong to the finder. And that'll be me, if you please. Away, Bolt Screw! Shall we stop them, Lord? What for? They'll be back. If Clog recaptures the slaves, where's he gonna take them to keep them penned up? Eh, don't know. Here, Jelly Brain. He'll need food and shelter, and when he does, we'll just take him straight back. Hmm. Orson's be always ready for vittles. Do you have any, uh, soup? Soup is not good for one at this time of day. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no matter. I'm a bit partial to a few nice scones. <laughs> you say you are bound for Noonvale? <laughs> you should look out for our friend, the Warden. He'll help you if you get into trouble. Thank you, I'm sure. But watch out for the lizards. They're cannibals. <gasps> Rose! trying to fatten us up a bit. What was it the rabbit said? Cannibal lizards? This year is made from green nettles and I don't know what. It's supposed to help recovery then. Oh, oh tasty. What's going on over there? A young squirrel mate's been missing since the escape. Oh, yes, I remember. Was she, she a pretty creature? Oh, yes. Do you recall her? I was only half conscious on the back of the garden. One minute I saw her behind us, and the next she, she was gone. If she's lost, I'll find her. But what if she's been captured? Then I'll free her, or die trying. There's great rage in my son against all that Marshank stands for. I know how he feels. We must let him go. What ho, tree jumper! Looks like you're arming yourself up to start a one beast war there. What? I've got a score to settle at Marshank.
That was very close. Almost came a cropper, what? I knew my hero Felder would come to my rescue. said going to eat you help you help you help you ask him about the warden warden help us warden help us warden 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 i don't want any more thank you <gasps> Interfere. Lizards. Got to deal with them. Ah. Ah. I think we're all right. This must be the warden. Warden! 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 He did understand me. He saved us by fetching the warden. I am the warden of Marshwood Hill. These are my marshes. I am the law, and lizards are lawbreakers. I am Martin. This is Rose, Palum, and Grum. We thank you for saving our lives. We are traveling through your marshes on our way to Noonvale. Can you point us in the right direction? I will guide you through my marshes, but you must obey the law. Make fun of the law, and I deal with you. I am the law. You snivelling sea rat! I'm not afraid of the likes of you! Hey, look at me! I could be a brave warrior, just like Feldo. I could take you all on at Marshank. What a hero I'd be when I return with all the other slaves. I'm Bucktail, as good a matey that ever sailed the seas and plundered landlubbers. Ha ha! my ticket into Marshank. Oh. Uh, Hi there, mate. Uh, you the beast they left behind. I heard you was injured. Oh, uh, that's me. Uh, them rotten slaves hit me in the paw. Uh, who are you? Bucktail's the name. Now, up on your paws, mate, and I'll give you a lift back to Marshank. Uh, oh, oh, thanks, Bucktail. I'll never forget you for this. Almost there. What's all the commotion? Same old, same old. Those two have been going at each other for hours. Are you seriously asking me to believe these escaped slaves are going to return and lay siege to Marshank? Why, that's too funny for words. <laughs> Laugh if you want, but I pay to be in your shirt when they comes a looking for you. Broom, what are you doing here? I've come to get you out. All of you. <laughs> Broom! I can't believe you came back. Are you out of your mind? We'll find out soon enough, won't we? Broom! 
Send for me, sire? Yes. I have a job for you, Gurad. Sire? I've had more than enough of me old seamate Captain Clog. So I've decided to take matters into my own hands. Uh, great seasons, there's enough poison in there to lay an army out. <laughs> Clog never could resist a drop of blackberry grog. Well. I hope he enjoys this one. It will most certainly be his last. Throw back! You're the beast I've been looking for. Now listen up, matey. When I tell you of a little plan I've arranged for the treacherous former partner of mine. <laughs> Once he's asleep, place the flagon in his paw. Knowing him like I do, when he wakes in the morning, he'll pop the cork and guzzle it right off without a thought. <laughs> the stupid plated buffoon! <laughs> Remember, stay in the shadows, don't hurry too much, and above all, be silent. Hey, you're not bad, Drang. Might as well have that. You won't be needing it anymore. What are you doing here, matey? Uh, I'm, uh, just getting rid of this dirty spy for Lord Badrang. Good. Get on with your work, then. Just a moment, mate. What are you doing with that bunch of slaves? Not that it's any of your business, but Lord Badrang wants them locked up in the prison pit where he can keep an eye on him. Oh, uh, uh right. Just, uh, just curious is all, uh. Well, I'll, uh, I'll bid you good night then. You'll have your paws full getting them all down into that little pit. We're not here to argue. We just carry out our leader's orders. And don't ask too many questions. Well, that's all the likes of us can do, eh, mate? Well, uh, good night again. Phew, that was close. Let's get the grate off that pit quickly. To you, Fortress Marshank. You'll not have me tonight. Let's get them down there quickly. All right, you lot, on the double. Why have you brought us down into this filthy place? There's little time to waste if we're all going to get into this tunnel by sunrise. Then let's get going. We don't stand a chance. There's too many. Grum, make fire! Fast! Are you, Rosie? Try to do the trick. Hurry, Grum! Martin! Get back! Come on, Warden. 
You've lasted this long. Come on. The mist is starting to clear. Yes, the sun is breaking through. <sighs> Look up, ahead. Mountains. Big ones. And Noonville's on the other side? It is there, a tunnel through the mountains. Huh? Find the cave and you are on your way home. You saved my life. I will not forget this. Besides the cave, is there anything else we should look out for on the mountain? Ask Goldred. The mountain is not mine. These are my marshes. And I alone am the Lord. certainly is a long way up. Yes, it is. A mighty hard climb. Perhaps we could be, uh, eating breakfast before we start? Good idea. <laughs> this Baldred the Warden spoke about. I wonder who he might be. If it's a he. It could be a she. Or a thing. What kind of thing? I'm sure I have no idea. But one thing I'm certain of. What in the name of. Hey! What's going on here? Put that down. It doesn't belong to you. Stop. Stop it! Do you hear me? Stop it! You little hooligans! What do you mean by wrecking our camp like this? <laughs> it's not your land, it's ours. We're the God Tribe. We do what we want, so... There. Keep this up and I'll report all of you to the Warden of Marshwood Hill. <laughs> I am the law. <laughs> the warden only rules the marshland. He never comes here. <laughs> then I'll I'll tell Baldred instead. <gasps> you can't, because she's not here. Besides, we don't want to stay anyway. <laughs> Did you see their eyes when I mentioned Baldred? Yes. I wonder who she is. Think we've seen the last of the Gar tribe? It's so dark and stuffy down here. I don't think I can breathe. Stay calm, Kayla. We're almost there. Look up ahead. Can you see the light? Yes. Yes, I can. Throne? What's that sound? <gasps> Caven! <laughs> This is Gar Tribe land. You've got to pay to pass through. We carry nothing of value. Just food for ourselves, please. I am Wok, leader of the Gar Tribe. You want to pass? Give me your sword and I'll let you pass. No beast takes this sword from me. Then I will fight you for it one on one. 
And if I win, you'll let us pass? Ha! <laughs> if you win! Now, give your sword to the Mask Maid and let's see how good you are without a weapon. Martin! Have you had enough, Squirrel? Enough? Enough? We can't hear you. Enough! Badly hurt? I'll be fine. Well done. Let's get out of here. I'm afraid we haven't seen the last of them. I agree. Time's running out, and there's much ground to cover before we get to Noonvale. It's beginning to feel like we'll never reach home to get help for Brome and the others. We'll do it, Rose. Just the exit that's caved in. Get out of my way! We never came down here to suffocate. Give him some space. I'll show you how Kaelin digs! Like this! And this! And... Kayla, you did it! Shows what you can do when you have to. <laughs> the sun's getting high. We've lost a lot of time. Badrang's lot are sure to spot us now. <gasps> we shouldn't have tried to escape. <laughs> I'm going to run for help. You follow with the others as fast as you can. Escape! Escape! The slaves have escaped! Escape! I want to know how many slaves have escaped and from where, blood of brain beast! Go around, you nimwit! You were supposed to kill Clog, not let that slimy sea rat kill you! There's a big hole in the side of the pit. Well? It's an escape tunnel, sire. By whose orders were the slaves in the prison pit? Oh. I don't know who put them in there, your, your worship. Uh, I mean... Nipwet, you numbskull! Don't report back till you find the exit to that I... tunnel. I... Oh. Hesk, Fleabane! Get the whore together! Now! He's dead for sure, Captain. Poison. I'll back me, Bucko. You are supposed to kill Badrang, not get yourself done in. If Badrang's discovered our plot to assassinate him, he'll be out for revenge right quick. <gasps> <laughs> 
Here he comes. <laughs> Trouble a plenty. Get the others. Ahoy, matey! What's the trouble? The rest of the slaves escaped during the night. Why, the rotten bunch of scallywags! We'll never get a new ship built now! Matey, absolutely! What say, badrang me, matey? We call a truce between us, till we catch them. Hmm, they're probably headed south to the cliffs. That's the way we're going. Ah. He could have been captured at Marshank, or had everyone smothered in that tunnel. Matter of opinion, old lad. If you fail, you're a bally fool. If you win, you're a jolly hero. I'd say if he pulls this off, he's a reckless hero. Who would have thought it of young Brom? Sometimes you just have to do what's right, wherever that choice leads you. <gasps> there they are! But look who's hot on their tails. Bad rain! <sighs> Martin, you must be tired after battling that big squirrel. Don't worry about me, Rose. We have to hurry, and I can still keep up. You're wounded! <sighs> Grom! Palum! Martin's hurt! He needs rest and a dressing for his wound. Um, I saw some healing herbs back a ways. Uh, I'm fine, Rose. We've got to keep going. Shh. Hush now. Mm. Here they are. Far too many of them for us. Their only hope is to get up here before Bad Rang reaches them. I say, chaps, let's give it a try. Down here! The old ones will never make it up the ropes on time. I'll shimmy down to help. I'll go with you. Ah! They're trapped against the cliffs! Let's get them! Move it, move it! Blighters are climbing our ropes! Off! Get off the ropes! Now! On my cue? Now! to hold him for a while, eh, what? Oh. Fisk! Oh. Yes, Sawyer? Listen carefully, Hisk. Take ten trackers. Find out where the slaves have gone. Don't fight. Don't even show yourselves. Just report back to me. Got it? Or do exactly as you say, Sawyer. Good. We'll ambush them later when they least expect it. They've been lucky so far. They're not warriors, after all. Just actors and escaped slaves. How hard can it be? Well, you sure fooled old Badrang, Captain. I'll help you find the slaves, says I. And I go straight round and captures Mershank for myself. Ha! <laughs> Poor little bad Rang will soon come a visit in all unawares, with his tail atwixt his legs, and a flea in his ear. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh no. Have I been dozing the day away? Now I'll never make it to the cave by nightfall. 
drink this and you'll feel better. Come on then, perhaps you'll be happier on the move. And what if we don't want to play? <laughs> then the god try kill you. Oh, if in play is the only way out near, then so be it. Lead on. We trust you. Whatever you say, Martin, we're with you. All right, we'll play. What's your game? <laughs> you run up the mountain, we catch you. Good. That's the way we were traveling anyway. What happens next? When we catch you, <laughs> we throw you off! Yes! But the Gore tribe are exceptional squirrels. Very strong. Very fleet of paw. Very, very fast. <laughs> and we are slow and weary. Not much fun to chase. Perhaps if you gave us a head start, it would be a really good game. Really good game! Let us climb to that ledge before you start chasing us. I will shout Gotra. That is your signal. If we can make the cave, we may have a chance to hold them off. Oh, uh, I paint a beast who likes high places. Oh no, sir. I don't think we're going to like this game. Try to put it out of your mind. Yes, sir. I am. Who's first? There. Just two more small ledges to go, Grump. games with other creatures' lives. We'll show them! That's my brave Rose. This is it. The cave is just above us. Are we ready? Right, Martin. Give them the signal. I won't waste my breath on that lot. So, my friends, we climb for our very lives. You. We're only harmless travelers hiding from the squirrels. They're trying to kill us. Do not be afeard, Mouse Maid. Those scatterbrained savages try my patience no end. Who dares wake, Baldred? Play my game! Ah! Feldo! 
Huh? Brought you a bit of supper. Thank you. Are you all right? Just been thinking how much time I've wasted cooped up in Badrang's prison. Do you think Martin, Grum, and my sister made it safe ashore? Of course. Rose is with Martin. She's safe as a deep-rooted oak. I wouldn't be surprised if they came marching across those cliffs right now with the Noonvale army. Feldo, those are bad ranks creatures. Looks like they're following our cart tracks. Here, take this and follow me. I do. Good. That's the half of it. And lastly, I'm Rose, originally from Noonvale. Are you Rose? Daughter of Uranvo and Arya? Yes. Do you know my mother and father? I'm a map maker. I made a map of Noonvale many seasons ago, and there I met your parents. Then you could show us how to get there. It would be my pleasure to take you to the other side of the mountain. Wonderful! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> The tunnel! You don't think it goes right through to the other side of the mountain? Stanley! Who locked my gates? No. Uh, uh, um. Clog! That traitor's taken over me fortress! Uh, no. uh, uh, if we can't get over, we'll have to get under. Follow me. I'll uh, get any beast who makes a sound. The marshlands, that's where they're hiding. Where no beast would expect it. <laughs> Except one as clever as me. This ground is getting soft. <laughs> Shut up, do you want them to know we're here? Oh. Good shot, eh? You just killed him. I mean... Ah, oh, young one. It's called war. You'd best give those to me if you can't use them. Your whiskers. <laughs> <sighs> this is the life. Thank you, Baldrick. <laughs> Charge! <laughs> I'm not charging just because you shall charge. Charge! Hmm. Yeah, since then. 
one have you been in charge? Sorry, did you just say charge? No, not charge! Charge! As in in charge! Well, can't you tell the difference? <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt. Uh, are we under attack? Yes! No! Not yet. <laughs> I don't think them there is food. Who knows if them's coming or going? We're trying to get to Noonvale. Can you tell us the way? <laughs> tell you, we can take you! You were very brave tonight, young one. Oh, don't worry. Not every creature can take a life. I was like you once. I wish I still was. You wish you were like me? I once loved peace, too. It's bad rang slavery that made me this way. So what can we do? Stop bad rang from recruiting new slaves. Some more instead. Come and have a look. <laughs> Pay attention, you horrible lot. You have three simple choices. One is slavery. <laughs> Two is stay loyal to Clog and get executed. <gasps> Three, he swear allegiance to me. Pause up if you chose number three. Take him to the prison pit. So, it's come to this. Being slung in an hole. You're not going in. Lord Badrang's orders are that you must fill it in, slave. Being a warrior isn't quite as glamorous as I thought it was. War is a hideous beast. There is much suffering and pain. Some creatures use it for their own advantage. I like that scoundrel Badrang. Aye, that's right. They call themselves rulers and ignore the laws of the peaceful woodlanders. They gain respect from none but those that are misled. It's up to us to stop Badrang's cruel reign. No other beast will. And if it takes war to crush him, so be it. Full force to the fur and freedom fighters! The fur and freedom fighters! The fur and freedom fighters are ready to take on Marshank. Feldo, you haven't got a tenth of the force that Badrang commands. Too many lives could be lost. I'm not talking about a pitched battle, father. Lightning attacks are what I want. Hit hard and fast, then vanish, eh? That's the ticket. I agree with Bart John. We're not warriors, and Badrang's horde are. But we are smarter. Brome walked right into Bad Bottom's fort and bluffed his way out again. What do you say, eh, Brome, old fella? I'm not a warrior. I may be good at bluffing, but I don't want to see creatures killed, especially our own. Why can't we just leave here and find somewhere else nice to live? Forget about Badrang. Because Badrang will capture other creatures and make them slaves. We must fight to let our young ones grow up to be free. Well said. We know what it's like under the whips of a tyrant. It's not life, it's living death. <laughs> Them when I was a little one. You know where we are? 
Yes! We're nearly there! We're nearly home in Noonvale! <laughs> Noonvale! <laughs> Welcome home, Rose! Uh, come and look! It's Rose. Mother. Mother. Oh, my daughter. I never thought I'd see you alive again. It's all right, Mother. I'm fine. Just fine. Oh, where are my manners? Mother, father, everyone? This is Palum, Grum, and Martin. Martin, the warrior. I'm Oren Vo. This is Arya. Thank you for returning our daughter to us. Where's Brom? Will he be here soon? He's not here. But he should have been here long before us. Oh, Brom. Where are you? Be careful, Feldo. Please. <sighs> it's not me you have to worry about. an art life but at least bad rang ain't got me standing guard up on the wall like those fellers <laughs> 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 them slaves is running fast now if and me and bad rang was steer partners i'd raise the alarm but seeing as how he thinks i'm his slave I think I'll lie right here and enjoy the show. Force them too. It'll make them think there's more of us. Steady on there, young chappy. Dangerous move that, don't you know? We've no time for safety, Bala. This is war. Juniper, and you three, come with me. He's getting madder by the second. Afraid you might be right there, young soldier. Oh, if only Martin and Rose were here with reinforcements. They'll be here. You mark my words. Hey. Here they come. Wait till they get to the middle of the wall. See now. Now! It's a trap! Down! Return fire! This may be as good a moment as any for us to depart the battleground. Leave? Why would we leave now? Bella! It's Juniper! Oh no. All right there, youngster. I'll carry him. No! I will.
We shall never be able to thank you enough for bringing our daughter safely home. If there's ever anything you need... Actually, sir, I would ask a favor. Speak as it is yours. I need help. Can I ask the folk of Noonvale if they will join me to free my friends from slavery? Our creatures have never seen war. They are dedicated to a life of friendship and peace. My dear, we should at least let Martin talk to our folk. Any who wish to help can decide for themselves. Juniper gave his life so that those who follow may live out their seasons in peace and freedom. We'll always be in his debt. Aye. We will never forget you, Juniper. And I vow, Bagring and his horde will pay tenfold for your passing. That wasn't a goodbye. It was an oath of vengeance. Elder was my hero once, but now I don't know him anymore. Martin, before you speak to everybody, just one thing. I ask that you give up your sword for as long as you stay here. I am sorry, sir, but I give up my sword for no beast. Spoken like a true warrior. So, Martin, would you do something for me? Could you take your sword and hang it by the door? I promise no one else will touch it. That I can do. Father? Is something wrong? Listen to me carefully, daughter. This Martin. You must never let yourself grow too close to him. What are you talking about? He is a warrior, Rose. And death walks alongside him. <laughs> oh, Father, there's nothing to worry about. Martin can take care of himself. Really? It's not Martin I'm worried about. Dopes! Idiots! How did you let this happen? Um... We're trapping here like flies! They're doing the best they can, Lord. Go easy on them. <laughs> Go easy? While a stinking paw full of slaves are holding Marshak uh -oh. and an entire horde under siege? Halfwits, <laughs> cowards, mindless mud-crawling morons! I'll show you how to deal with slaves. It's time for you to return to Marshank, isn't it? Rose told me this bad rang holds your father's sword. Is that the reason you must go back? I swore an oath to my father that I would never give his sword to another. But that's not the main reason. I must drive Badrang out. Because while he has Marshank, all of us will live in fear of becoming his slaves. I understand, young warrior. It is for us all. But the thing that grieves me is that Rose will go with you. I promise you, I will take greater care of her life than I will my own. They're all dug in, sire. And just in time. There, one beast heading in this direction. Only one? Aye, just a loner. Hmm. Tell every beast not to make a sound while I get him. If he sniffs a trap, he'll be off. Yes, sire. Don't move a muscle until I shout, Marshank. Right, sire. I'll spread the word. <laughs> Over here! He's running straight towards them. It must be some kind of trap. Velda, that! Ha! Is that the best you can do, slave? I'm no slave of yours. My name is Veldo. Missed again. I suppose you can keep on throwing those things until you run out of them. Or you could put down those sticks and fight like a warrior. One on one. Sounds good to me. 
Have at it, then, if you have courage. You mud sucking coward. Yeah. No beast talks like that to me. I am Lord Badrang. Prepare to die. to give this back to its rightful owner. Once I'm finished with it, any last words, Lord Badrang? Marshank! 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 Huh? Martin, Bart John sent me. What's happened, Baldry? The slaves are badly outnumbered. Bart John said, Tell Martin if he's coming, travel fast and bring plenty of help. You heard, Baldred. Is any beast with us? Who will help save the slaves? Thank you. <laughs> I thank you with all my heart. You gave this up freely. Now I return it. Use it for good and right, Martin the Warrior. Use it for good and right, my son. Protect those weaker than yourself. Won't be needing those, youngin. Save them for the living. Oh no! Not Beldo! No! My brave son has gone to the silent forest, where he'll always be free. Oh no! <laughs> they can't hurt him anymore. Shit, dimwit. <laughs> Looks like you ran into an army, but was only one hard nosed squirrel. <laughs> Get out of my sight or taste me blade, you mad thing. <laughs> I'll have the last laugh yet. Your mightiness. You'll see. Ow! <laughs> you ain't enough, you ham fisted lout. I've a battle to win. Cross tooth. Get the archers to the ramparts. Yes, sire. Fleabane, wet paw. Take 50 fighters over the back wall and pin down those slaves on both sides. Yes, yes sire. sire. Sooner or later, those slaves out there will have to surrender or die. 
I'll never forgive myself if we're too late. My friend, concentrate on success. I will meet you at Marshank, Warrior Mouse. Good seasons and fair winds to us all. Prepare to lead many. What does she mean? Oh, I wonder if that owl Baldred ever managed to contact this Martin the Warrior creature. No, old Rowan, me badger oak. I believe the stage is all ours. We shall give our best performance and wait for the final curtain to fall. My master can slay you at his leisure. If, if you surrender, you will not be killed. Tell me, good chap, what would happen if we did surrender? Lord Badrang, in his mercy, has agreed to take you all as his slaves. Blinking rascal's got a nerve, what? Listen, Rusty Hinge! Tell old bad thingy that the fur and freedom fighters say he can go and boil his scurvy head. Fur and freedom! Martin, I'm afraid. What if we don't get there on time? What if we don't get there at all? Whatever happens, I love you, Rose of Moonvale. Somehow, I believe I've always loved you, Martin Warrior. Even before I met you. Should I issue orders for the final charge, sire? You kept them awake all night, as I ordered. Yes, sire. No sleep, no food, no water for days. Any beast in their right mind would prefer slaving to that. <laughs> Your mightiness will never understand the mind of free beasts. What do you know of freedom, you mad wave beast? Once you dared to be my equal, and now you are my slave! <laughs> I just go back to the Baryon and wait for you to turn up as a customer. Ah! Ah! Now you have an army, too. One on one. <gasps> Baldred! You did this? It's the most amazing thing I've ever seen! I believe us has got a chance now, Miss Roser. Listen up now, chaps. I'm not given to making jolly great speeches and all that. <laughs> you old scene stealer. I bet you never made a short speech in your whole life. <laughs> we just want to say that it has been an honor to serve with all of you in this just battle. And may the seasons remember us kindly. <gasps> Attack! This is it, chaps. I 
close the gates! <laughs> Show yourself! I am Martin! Martin the warrior! I've come for my father's sword! Puny fool! You dare challenge the great tyrant Badrang? Prepare to feel my wrath! Prepare to die! Good work, bro. Good to see you again. Martin! Rose! He's here! Bro! Rose! Oh, bro! I thought I'd never see you again. We said we'd come back. And we have. All of us. I knew you were fearless when I saw you the first time. Stretched out on Marshank's walls. You swore then that you would return to slay Badrang. And here you are. With your own army. You're a hero to each of them, Martin. Me? A hero? What for? For bringing these creatures together. And you're a hero. To me. Lead us into battle, Martin the Warrior. For luck. We fight for freedom, not revenge. We fight in the name of Beldo! The Fall and Freedom Fighters! The Fall and Freedom Fighters! This is it, Rose. It had better work. It's your plan, Martin the Warrior. It's bound to work! There's a fire approaching the gate! Fire approaching! How? No! First rank, reload! Second rank, shoot! Oh. Don't just cower there! Fire back! I beast Bruno! I've ever seen oh, not bad for a beast lover. Sometimes you just have to fight fire with fire. So come on, Rose. Let's burn that rain. Stop it! The gates are burning! Get sand and water! Put the blaze out! Cross to take some beast to cover the north wall. Flee Bane! You take the south wall! <laughs>
me? In my fortress? Not for long. You can help me get out of here. You'll die trying. I warned you this sword belonged to my father. Now, finally, I have it back. <gasps> Rose? Rose! Dear Rose, please, please be all right. <sighs> Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh, no. <laughs> Miss Rosie? <laughs> <laughs> Upon my father's sword, I swear I shall never fight with it again. This is all my fault. If I had stayed at Noonbale and not gone wandering, she'd still be alive. There, there, old lad. There's only one beast to blame for all this, and that's Badrang. Thanks to you, Martin. The evil has gone from this land forever. Those who have no home to go to will be welcome in mine. But it is a peaceful place, so put aside your weapons if you wish to go with me to Noonvale. Dear Rose, she'll be locked in Martin's art, and there she's bound to stay. Huh? I am leaving today. Will you be coming with us to Noonvale? I can never return to Noonvale. But where be you ma going? What be you ma going to do, Martin? I must follow my own path. Have no fear. I will never speak of Noonvale or of you. Will you never tell our tale? Never. Noonvale is a secret place untouched by evil, and so it will remain. We will never forget you, Martin the Warrior. And you will all, always be in my heart. For all seasons and forever, every beast 
wish I remember thy name. Martin E. Warrior? Martin the Warrior said goodbye to his friends for the very last time. Ever shadowed by the loss of his love, he resolved to dedicate his life to bringing peace to woodlanders everywhere. Yeah. <laughs>